welcome to another episode of Ask Shorty, where I answer your scratch and life questions. So the first question is from DJ Zerp, hey Zerp, uh, which I forgot to answer last time. So I'm going to read it out again and I've actually got an answer for you this time. <laughs> You're stranded on an island with only two record players, a mixer and five records. The catch is you only have five records. Which five records would you choose to have with you? The first record I take with me is Off The Wall by Michael Jackson, just because it's got the track Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, which is my most absolute favorite song ever in the whole wide world. Um, it makes me instantly happy. I love dancing to it. And it would just put me in a good mood and start off my stay on the island on a good tip, definitely. Okay, now I've got some props. Second choice is Super Seal. You see that? Yep. Um, just because I need something to scratch with, obviously. Um, and it's just a classic record. It's got all my favourite samples on it. Ah, fresh. Ah, yeah. Funky fresh. Say what. And it's just, I just love scratching with it. This one's been around a little while. You can see it's all beat up. It's been to uh, Rome, New York, uh, Finland, all around the UK. And I still have the same copy. I did buy a second copy, actually, but it got warped in the post. So I still use the same one. I love it. <laughs> Number three is Combinations from the Masters by Cut Class and Cymatic. Just because of the vocal samples, it's really versatile and really fun to scratch with. So yeah, I love that record. That's my third choice. My fourth choice is something I don't actually have on vinyl. It's Damu the Fudge Monk, How It Should Sound, Volume 1 and 2. And I think he's bringing out volumes three, four, and five on vinyl. So I just get the whole lot and take that with me. Um, some of my favorite beats to scratch to ever are on the album. I think it's called, um, let, me, let me just check. The first track I really love is Moving On. This is so good. Can you not like scratching to that? Awesome. And the second track is Judgment Day. <laughs> yeah, love it. So, yeah, I'd be really happy with that. My last choice, I'm not even sure if it is an album, but I'm gonna just cheat and make it up. I'd want something like a movie soundtrack, best of movie soundtrack ever um, on vinyl with all like the greatest movie themes ever, like Star Wars, Superman, all of that stuff, anything by John Williams, just because I think it speaks about possibility. I find it really inspiring. And I'd probably be quite happy just scratching on an island for a bit, but then I might want to escape. So that would just remind me to think about what's possible and yeah, stay focused on um, not giving up. Darren Oakley asks, do you think space or silence is very important between scratches? I hear some scratching and it's just constant with no room to breathe. Yes, definitely 100 million bazillion percent. Um, it's all about space for me. I do like fast scratching, but I like to balance it out with space just to kind of break it up for the listener. I try and make my scratching really musical and my aim with it really is that if somebody doesn't know anything about scratching, they could just come along and listen and actually kind of get into the rhythm and groove, uh, kind of like jazz um, and just kind of pick it up and roll with it. Whereas if it's kind of like over the top, constant scratching without a break, I think it can really overwhelm people. So uh, yeah, I think space is really important and I'd encourage everybody to play with that. You don't have to scratch constantly in every single note that you've got in a bar um, to make it sound really good. So just play with space, ease back a little bit and have some fun. That's it for this episode of Ask Shorty. If you've got a question, you can email it to hello at schoolofscratch.com or if you want to get on social media, you can record me a video or write out a question and tag it with hashtag Ask Shorty and I'll be sure to check it on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. If you'd like to learn more about how I can help you learn how to scratch, head on over to schoolofscratch.com and I'll send you some free tutorials to get you started. Happy scratching!